Come on, wake up. Welcome to Trivia Night, a gauntlet of pit- Okay, Professor, I guess we'll skip the rules. Okay now, first question. Who won the second season of American Idol? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Lame. I've got more questions for you. Look, we like to have fun around here, but this question is deadly serious. Which Spice Girl was the first to leave the group back in 1998? Ah! Who said this? Which leaves only you. Let's play a game. to the killing floor. Let's see who's a wordsmith. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. Just ignore any blood on the letters. And this one little safe person will be playing too. And if your friend spells a longer word than you, you die. Start poking those letters with your fingers. By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. Let's see what you did there. Let's see if your word holds up. Eh, you got lucky. Those random letters you put together accidentally spelled a word. And here's how everyone stacks up early in the game. But you're all number one to me. How about this? What's the name of the dreamy Prime Minister Canada elected in 2015? Ah! Who said... This one? Hmm, too easy. Let's try this again. Before George Clooney earned a starring role on TV's ER, he once had a role in what short-lived series? And the correct answer is... This one. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's go someplace fun. Hello, guten tag. Welcome back to the killing floor. Oh darn, this is such a mess. There's blood all over this art. Actually, I think it looks better this way. Memorize the pattern of blood. Okay, you've had long enough. Okay, we have a little time, so let me give you my puppy chow recipe. In a saucepan, melt the chocolate. Add peanut butter and mix until smooth. Remove from heat, add cereal, and stir until coated. Pour powdered sugar and cereal into a large plastic bag and shake until well coated. Serve and enjoy! Anyway, reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If your pattern is different than mine, I will kill you. Here's that arch again. Now it's time to show your work. That's not good enough. I need everything exactly in the right place. And now I know the right place for you. No! See, I wasn't joking when I said I'd kill you. I just totally killed you. And what's really spooky is that ghosts can still win the game. Here at Trivia Murder...
Schmitty's my name, Whiplash is my game, and it's your game, assuming you pay for it. I'm sensing a lot of repressed anger in this group, mostly from me, so everybody back off and let's start the game. Time for round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's, and decide who wins. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Hit the safety quit button if you can't think of something. <laughs> Time to share. Number one on the list, what God said when he created the penis. Okay, choose your favorite. Next one, if a job interviewer asks you what's your biggest weakness, always say blank. Vote away. Next in the hopper, the way to really embarrass yourself on Jeopardy. Okay, vote! That's round one. Let's see how the scores shook out. <laughs> Onward to round two. Remember, all points and bonuses are doubled.
let's see what we're working with. Starting things off, Martha Stewart's biggest pet peeve. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. the list. The worst way to die, death by a thousand blank. Time to vote. And next is a good replacement for SeaWorld's whale shows would be blank. It's voting time. Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. Everyone's taking aim at the same prompt this time. <laughs> Fill in this comic. Let's see the responses. In the final round, you get to give out a gold medal to your top quip. Make it count. Nice. Let's see who snagged the medals. Metals are nice, but points are even nicer, so... And we're finished! Show me those final scores! This is Quiplash. I'm Schmitty. I hope that's okay. Take a good look at your fellow players. These are your enemies. Crush them. This is round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go!
Time's running out. Use a safety quip if you need it. Let's start this show. Up first, a procedure that not even the slimiest plastic surgeon will do. Okay, vote for your favorite. Next prompt, a text message that Jesus sends at 3 a.m. Ready, set, vote. they don't show you on the Pentagon tour is the secret blank room. <laughs> Round one's done. Let's see who's in the lead. Round two is pulling into the station with double the points and bonuses. Let's see what we got. First off, sometimes Deadpool wishes he didn't wear such a skin-tight latex suit and instead wore blank. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. Coming up next, new rule, you should automatically be arrested if you blank. And vote. on deck. If you pull your uncle's finger, he farts. If you push it, he blank. Vote on your devices. That's it for round two. Let's see those scores. Whoa. 
Round three has arrived. The last lash. You're all going to answer the same prompt, so pull out all the stops. Come up with the phrase this acronym stands for. All right, brace yourselves. Pick your medal winners now. Great, let's see where those medals ended up. Let's sell off those medals for points. That's all. Now for the final scores.
Welcome to TKO. I am the Tournament Master. Boy, if you told me a thousand years ago I'd still be mastering this tournament. <laughs> but the hours are good and I need the dental plan, so here we are. I beckoned you here to T-Shirt Island for one reason and one reason only. To engage in deadly T-Shirt battle and maybe play some foosball if there's time. Okay, that's two reasons. The road to greatness begins here, at the training grounds. You will use your device to draw three drawings. You may draw whatever you choose. Go nuts with it! But if you're stumped, feel free to use the suggestion button. Begin your first drawing, now. Her time is not for decoration. Uh, decent enough, but a bit traditional. Uh, this time try changing your shirt color with the little tabs at the bottom. On to drawing number two. before time runs out. One drawing to go, let your freak flag fly, man! Begin.
time is about to expire, you may want to finish up. Challenge complete. For your last exercise, you will write as many slogans or phrases as you can. Something short and snappy like you might see on a t-shirt. And don't let hubris consume you. Use a suggestion if you need one. Go. Keep those slogans coming. Only seconds remain. Nice hustle. Let's find out if it was worth it. Enough training. Direct your attention to your device. And don't phone it in. Excellent. The battlefield calls. Let the tournament begin. Gauntlet one versus fight. And by fight, I mean enter your votes on your device. Versus Five Winners! I think we could all use a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Last chance to be clever? Go!
Now right. The second gauntlet is upon us, and the withered hand of Lady Luck has shuffled your drawings and slogans. Dream up something special. Another in violence. A new challenger appears. Fight. Brace yourselves for the final gauntlet where the toughest shirts from the previous rounds go toe to toe. Prepare to vote. Versus. Fight for me, baby. Fight. You have all fought well, but the one true winner has emerged.
Welcome to Trivia Night. Voted most painful. Oh, don't let me keep you or anything. First question. If you only know one thing about astronomy, it should be this. What was the name of the first dog launched into space? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, I have a surprise for you! Welcome to the killing floor. Let's play the finger cutting game. My collection is running a little low. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's so easy. Just don't squirm. Aim for the tendon. Ah! <laughs> Hope you weren't a pianist. P -a nist It's early, but here are your scores. But don't get too high or too low because you're all doomed, remember? Alright, next question. How many cars are needed for the route from Seattle to Portland to San Francisco to LA in the board game Ticket to Ride? said this which leaves only you prepare for your punishment hey girl welcome back to the killing floor oh boy everybody loves math answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out all the safe players will be playing too and if any of them do better than you i'll have to punish you Let's go! Math! 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 So much math going on right now! All this math fun is about to end! The math is strong in this one. Just to prove this isn't a fever dream, here are the scores again. Alright, next question. I love spring break! Woo! Cancun! We're in Mexico, is it? And the correct answer is... This. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I have a surprise for you. Let's test your memory. Memorize the pattern. And done. Okay, we have a little bit of time to fill, so let me read you an excerpt from an interview Gary Sinise gave on the Tavis Smiley Show in 2011. His take on CSI New York. I have lots of friends who are wonderful actors. They like to be in my shoes, so I'm just going to keep enjoying it. Okay, now back to the game. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? Anything short of perfection and I'll kill you. Voila! Look familiar? How close did you get? Mistakes are unacceptable! Uh-oh! 
it looks like somebody's a ghosty ghost, but keep playing and I promise you can still win. Here at Trivia Murder Party, we believe even the deceased should have a chance to succeed. I've got more questions for you. What's the name of the Corleone family's olive oil import company in the Godfather movies? Wrong. Let's go someplace fun. I want to see you spell. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I especially love adverbs, but that's just me. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. Do it now. By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. Don't forget to press submit when you're done. You're almost out of- Ooh, let's see what you did there. Life is pain. <laughs> Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Prime numbers. Tap on each answer that fits. Let's see the right answers! You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit! Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If the ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. No fair! Here's another one. Stay out of the shadows. Classify as bears. I get it. You did well. Countries with capitals that start with D. Gonna get ya! Fruit. You killed your friend! Better get away fast! Countries that have a president.
Hey, the gang's back together. I missed you. Now let's go back to killing you, okay? Okay now, first question. How long is a furlong? The correct answer is... Who got the question right? Which leaves only you. Let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the killing floor. Ugh, look at this mess. I'm going to need everyone's help. I spilled blood all over my favorite piece of art. Memorize the pattern of blood. Okay, you've had long enough. Did you know some people like to stream this game online? It's great, but sometimes the delay can cause weird moments where you can see something you're not supposed to be able to see. I don't even know why I'm explaining this to you. Uh, anyway. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If anyone does better than you, I will be testy. Here's that art again, and here's what you did. Not perfect. Let's see if anyone can make you pay. And down you go. <coughs> to be fair, predators are supposed to attack the weakest link. Ooh, look! Here's everybody's score. I put a lot of work into the scoreboard. How about this? I weigh 168 pounds. Shut up, I do! How many stones is that? This one. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's play a game. Welcome back to the killing floor. I want to play a dice game. I'll go first. And now I need an assistant. How about you? In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? The choice is yours. Hmm. Odds are about even there. I don't know how to feel about this. Roll higher than me or you die. <laughs> yes! Oh, it feels so good! Only one player left, huh? Well, the end game is not quite ready, so let's do this. If you can somehow survive these next two questions, I'll give you a chance to escape during the final round. And before I forget, let's check in with that audience. Looking at that score, the audience might be dead already. Let's try another one. Man, life can be unfair sometimes. Although I guess I don't need to tell you that. Around how many baby sea turtles survive to adulthood? Use your device to answer the question. Uh, that means you weirdos in the audience, too. <laughs> Who picked this one? One of you is still alive. I want to show you something. Let's multiply the fun and do some basic math questions. 
Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. If you can't get at least ten right, you die. Let's do this. Yay, math! Four, six, three, ten, ninety-three, nine. <laughs> Isn't that so annoying? Keep your focus. We're almost out of time. <laughs> Whoa, what a number nerd. Let's try this again. Just taking a moment to update my enemies list. What is Carrot Top's real name? answer is... this. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Prepare for your punishment. Let's do a little memory test. Memorize the pattern. Okay, you've seen enough. And while we have a second, I'd like to take a moment and let you know that the brown-footed lemur is almost extinct through the deforestation of Madagascar. So if you care about the planet like I do, here's what you can do. Oh, a Google alert. They're extinct. Never mind. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? I will accept zero mistakes. Pattern again, folks. How much of it did you remember? Mistakes are unacceptable. Terrible tragedy. I wouldn't go snooping around the old Jacob's place if I were you. Rumor has it, some awful things happened there. A party game that still had a single player option. Some pretty senseless confusing stuff. Three people died. Another round? Sure. It feels good to be wanted. You hear that, Dad? Somebody likes me. Whoops. I keep forgetting. He's been dead for years now. Okay, first question. I'll always remember the first time a random teenager made me cry while playing a video game. Which of these games from the Call of Duty franchise came out first? And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, come with me. Welcome to the killing floor. Let's draw some pictures! Get your finger ready! Humanity. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished.
everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the worst drawing. Pick the drawing that makes you go, uh, no. No, sir, I will not have any of that. <laughs> the votes are in. Maybe your art will be better appreciated after you're dead. Which looks like it's gonna be really, really soon. I should probably make sure I save this drawing somewhere. Well, maybe not yours. Let's take a look at the scoreboard, shall we? Do you like it? I took an online C++ course. Aced it. Oh, and let's pay attention to the audience for a moment. They get lonely. Jeez, audience, you're reminding me why I hate society. Here's another one. I think this was a question on the LSAT. How long is Chipmunks 2? The squeak wool. Play a game. Welcome back to the killing floor. Fight! 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 You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you can grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. Fight! Fight for your precious little lives. Anybody else's heart pounding right now? Shut down! Ugh, you can't even kill someone right. You'll pay for this. Why not take a moment to check out my full explanation of the tiebreaker rules over on my website? And then there was one. I'm still hosing down the final room, so you'll just have to keep your shirt on. But for now, how about this? If you can survive the next two questions, I'll power up the final round and open the escape door. Let's try another one. What is the highest mountain in the Alps? Picked this one. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. You're in for a treat. Word time! Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. But I will be very disappointed if you can't find at least a five letter word. Do it now! See what you came up with. You did it! Yay! Next question. What nation's flag shows an eagle attacking a snake? And the correct answer is... This one? Hmm. 
too easy. Glad to see you've made it here alive. But can you escape with your body? Here's your first category. The seven habits of highly effective people. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. A space for every right answer. Parts of the brain. Question. Girl Scout cookies. Uh oh, that ghost is gonna get ya. Beware of the darkness. Australian cities.